What is up everybody? Welcome to the Game Night YouTube channel. In today's video guys, we're doing a playthrough of Tin Helm and if we're lucky enough to make it all the way through, we're going to go straight into Tin Realm. So, of course, both of these are Mint Tin solo player games by the one and only Jason Glover of Grey Gnome Games. It's been a while since I've played these games on the channel. It's been a, a month or two, so we're back with some more Tin Helm and Tin Realm action. So, grab a drink, grab a snack, sit back and relax guys. We're going to jump right into this. First things first, we need to pick our race, and our class, so we can get a character to head into the dungeon with. So, let's head over to the PC, and we're going to use a random character and race generator, and uh, then we'll head back to the table and get into the game. Okay, guys, I've got all 12 of the races on the wheel. Let's go ahead and give it a spin. See who we're going to get. Ooh, is it going to be crawling or swine folk? Oh, it's crawling, dude. I thought it was going to be swine folk. We were so close. Okay, we're playing as a crawling. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and see what our class is going to be. Let's give it a spin. So we got the crawling. We we're so close to a swine folk. It's looking like it's going to be a hedge mage. Yeah, cool, man. So we're playing as a crawling hedge mage. All right, dudes, we got our crawling hedge mage all set up and ready to go. Let's go over his stats real quick. So... Uh, he's going to start with 10 health. He's got 8 on the crawling, 2 on the hedge mage for a total of 10. Uh, for his energy, he's starting with 12 energy. That is a lot. 8 from the crawling, and then 4 extra energy from the hedge mage class. Uh, and then he starts with 0 food. So hopefully we can find some food fairly early on in the dungeon. And he starts out with a couple of trappings. He's got a staff and an amulet. Now the staff says, when you use a potion or an elixir, you gain an additional one health and one energy. The amulet says, instead of making an attack during combat, you may instead deal two damage without spending any energy, and you gain a bonus, one favor, and one health. Very interesting. So we've got a little magical amulet and a magical staff. We are a hedge mage, after all. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So we're going to go ahead and take the dungeon deck here, shuffle it up, and we're going to head in. Of course, the object of the game, if you're new, uh, we're trying to get these three shards up here that's what we're trying to do we're trying to head down into the dungeon and find the three shards and escape all right we got the deck shuffled up let's head in guys so first room we have in the dungeon is an old well there's an enemy and there's the potential to find some food in here i don't really want to fight anything i think i'm going to go ahead and push my luck so we're going to skip past the old well we're going to head into the corridor where there is a trap a two health trap yikes okay so we go down to eight and there's a random event, Dark Rats. Okay, so we are getting into a fight, but you know what? It's okay, it's with Dark Rats, and uh, we could get some food from the Dark Rats. So they've got three health on level one. Let's put our little marker over that way. They've got no extra strength, and they've got no extra armor, uh, and they do provide one favor. And of course, it says when you defeat a Dark Rat, you gain one food, yummy. All right, guys, um, we're going to go ahead and attack here. Um, our attacks, if we spend one energy, we do two damage. If we spend two energy, we do four. And if we spend three energy, we do six damage. So I'm going to go ahead and spend one energy. And we're going to add two to our roll. See what we get. So four minus three is one. Plus two is three damage. And we took down the Dark Rat. Let's go. Easy peasy. Uh, so we're going to get that one favor. And we're going to get a food. Amazing. Amazing. Cool stuff. Okay. We're done with the corridor. We can move into the chasm. You know what? I think I'm going to skip the chasm. We're going to skip the chasm, and we're going to go into a waterfall, and there's a skelepede in the chasm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, let's go ahead and grab the skelepede. I'm trying to remember some of my tips and tricks from my Tin Helm Tips and Tricks video, which, if you haven't seen it, go check that out. <laughs> it's been so long since I've played, I don't even remember all the tips and tricks. I think one of them might have been to never skip the chasm because the outcomes on the back kind of suck <laughs> but it's okay it's okay so the skelepede is going to have four health on level one of the dungeon uh, of course the skelepede says they do not miss when they attack they always re-roll doubles so normally when enemies roll doubles in tin helm or tin realm they miss skelepede doesn't miss he gets to re-roll but we're getting to attack first thankfully he does have that one armor so he's going to mitigate one damage so i think i'm going to spend I think I'm going to spend two energy, and we're going to add four to our roll. So it's going to be uh, three, because we're subtracting one. So three plus the four. Six minus two is four, plus three is seven. Completely annihilated them. Let's go. We get one favor, and no food from the Skelepede. But we do have the chance to find food in the waterfall, because there's a little water drop icon. And we need 
four, we need five or six to get food. We got a three. We didn't find any food. Okay, there's a stash. This one is easy to remember. You always skip the stash. Let's go ahead and skip it. We're heading into the quarters. Uh, there is an enemy, dark rats. Dude, let's go, guys. Let's go. I'm sure some of you already see what's about to happen here. I'm sure some of you already see what's about to happen. For those who don't, you'll find out soon enough. We're going to fight the dark rats. It's got three health. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and spend one energy. We're doing plus two. Plus two damage. Ooh, and we rolled doubles and missed. Yikes. Okay, so the dark rat gets to retaliate. Uh-oh. He's coming in. He's coming in to chomp us. He misses too. Let's go. Okay, we're going to attack again. I'm going to spend one energy. Like so. So you get. Ooh, rolled off. That's a six. Uh, we get six minus five is one. Plus the two is three. And he's got three health, so he's dead. Let's go. We get one favor. We get another food. Let's go, dude. And most importantly, guys, there's a treasure chest. We crack that bad boy open, and there's a shard just chilling in the chest. Boom. Let's go. We'll put that over here. Any shards we collect, I'll go ahead and put it on the skull over here to show that we've got them. We got one shard. We need two more, and we're out of the dungeon. All right, cool. That's a very quick start. We got a clearing. Um, I kind of want to go there. There's a campsite. There's a random event. I love the random events. Let's go ahead and go to the clearing. The altar. Okay, cool. Let's see. Where is the altar? So we found an altar, which says, you may gain a blessing from the altar based on your current level on the favor tracker. Okay, well, we have three. Zero to three, you gain one health. Okay, that's cool. I'll take it. We gain one health. Neat. Um, and then there's a camp, and I'm going to use that to rest. You can either use it to rest to gain two health and an energy, or you can use it to search for food and gain one food. We're going to rest. So we're going to gain two health, go up to 11. I have to remember two are, I'm sorry, we go up to 10 rather, because our max health is 10. You can't go above that. So we're going to go up to 10, then we're going to gain an energy also when we uh, re rest at the camp. Sweet. We got the sewers with a trap, another camp, and potential food. Yes, we're going there. We're definitely going there. What do we got? A two health trap. Ouch. Okay. Somebody put a little, little bear trap down here in the sewers. That's no good. Um, we've got a camp campsite. We're going to do it. So we're going to rest. We're going to gain two health. So we're right back up to 10, and we also gain an energy. Uh, and then we can search for food. All right, let's go ahead and do it. That is off the table. I rolled a five too. You know what I need to do, guys? I, I'm going to show you this real quick. So check it out. I bought several of these little dice rollers right here, like little dice rolling trays. I think I should use that from now on, right? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use that. I did roll a five, but it was off camera. So to be fair, I'm going to roll it again. Should have got a food, but I'll roll it again for you guys. I rolled a one. I didn't get it. Okay. Oh, well. Um, okay, cool stuff. This is cool. I like this. I like this little tray right here. Neat. Okay, um, let's go ahead and move deeper in. So we got the Endless Pit. I believe that's a new one. I believe that came in the uh, Gnome Pack expansion, if I'm not mistaken. Do we want to do it, though? Not really. Ugh, trapping an enemy? No, I'm going to skip it. Let's go into the Catacombs instead, where there's a random enemy. Okay. Let's go ahead and shuffle this up. I like this. I like this little dice tray. They're not going to go flying all over the place anymore. This is cool. <laughs> All right, let's see what we get. A Watcher. Yikes. Um, okay, so the Watcher says, you lose one energy before combat begins when fighting a Watcher. Well, I don't like that. That kind of sucks. So we lose an energy immediately. He drains us of energy with his magical evil power. Um, he's got five health on level one. Uh, he does one extra damage. He has one armor, and he provides two uh, favor when we defeat him. So I'm going to go ahead and spend... He's got five health, and he's got one armor. I'm going to spend two energy, so we're going to go down to six energy. We're going to get to do plus four to our roll. Okay, so we did two uh, plus the four is six, and he's and he's dead. Oh, well, minus one is five, and he's dead. Awesome. Good. He had five health. Perfect. Okay, we get two favor, like so. Sweet. And then there's a random event, and it is the labyrinth. Uh-oh. That's probably not good. We got the labyrinth. You find yourself lost in a cavernous maze. Spend one food to escape. If you have zero food, spend two energy to escape. If you have zero food or energy, spend three health to escape. Well, we do have food, so I'm going to spend that one food to escape. Get out of the labyrinth. We had to wander around for a little bit. We got hungry in there. All right, we got the crawlway coming up. Um, I think that's a new one also, to be honest with you. I kind of want to go. I kind of want to go to it. Let's do it. It's that random event. I can't pass it up, dude. It's the labyrinth again. <laughs> no. 
just when just when we thought we were out of the labyrinth, we were right into another labyrinth. We got to eat our last food. Dang it, dude. That ate up both of our food right there. Um, fortunately, we can search for food. So let's see. We need a five or six. Oh, we got a two. Oh, I like this like felt. It like grips the dice too. So they don't go flying. This is cool. I like this. All right. Um, We've got the statue up ahead. Ooh, there's something you can find in the statue room. I think it's the ring. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it so we can try to find the ring. It is the ring, but we didn't get it, and we ran into the dang sanctum. Dang, that sucks, dude. Is there an enemy on here? Nope. Okay. Because I know Possessor is on the other side of this. So we get a trap. It's a one health trap. We go down to nine health, and there's an enemy, and it's a Doom Skull. Oh, that sucks. Doom Skulls always attack first. There we go. He's going to have five health here on level one. Uh... No extra, no extra damage, no extra armor, uh, but yeah, the Doom Skull always attacks first. So here we go. So he gets. He misses. He rolls doubles. Dude, we're getting pretty lucky there. Um, okay, we're gonna go ahead and spend. I'm, I'm feeling lucky. I'm gonna spend one. I'm gonna spend one. We're doing two damage, two extra damage to our roll. <laughs> we missed. We missed. Okay, our feelings are not always correct. Uh, the Doom Skull's gonna attack. Uh, he misses. Did I just roll double threes three times in a row? What is happening? Okay, we're gonna attack. I'm gonna spend one. I'm feeling lucky. You feel lucky, punk. There we go, dude. Four plus the two is six. He did. Let's go. We get one Boop. favor like that. Dude, look, our favor's getting up there. Let's go. Um, and that's it. That was it for the level. That was level one, guys. Sweet. So we're getting ready to move into level two. Shuffle up the little dungeon deck here. Dude, we gotta eat a food between levels. Oh, no. We don't have any food, guys. So that means we take three damage to our health. So we're going from nine all the way down to six. Yikes. That's not good. That's not good. All right. We're going to keep shuffling up the deck here. Did those just flip over? They did just flip over. Let's go ahead and shuffle this up. <laughs> Shoot, man. Dang, dude. Those labyrinths, guys. Those labyrinths, man. We got hungry in there. and the Lost in the labyrinth. All right, our health's getting a little low-ish. I mean, our max health is 10, so we're, we're above half. So we're good. We're good. We got a clearing. Ooh, there's a campsite. We're definitely going. Let's try to get some of that health back. There's a random event. It is the Grove. Ooh, I like going to the Grove. Head to the Grove. A little mushroom grove. You may search the Grove for mushrooms. Each mushroom found equals one food. Roll a die to see how many you find. Okay, don't mind if I do. Let's, let's go scavenging, guys. Let's pick some good ones. Five. Find one mushroom. Oh, I'm sorry. Find two mushrooms if you roll a five or six. Dudes, let's go. We got our food right back. We got our food right back. Maybe I was just complaining about losing it in the labyrinth. Lo and behold, we find a grove to bless us with a couple big, fat, juicy mushrooms. It's also a spot to set up a camp in the clearing. So we're going to do that. Let's get, a, let's get a fire going, dudes. What am I? I'm about to roll. We don't need to roll. I'm going to go ahead and rest and gain two health. So we're going to get uh, back up to eight. And then we're going to gain an energy and go up to five. We're getting a little low on energy, though. The sewers, another campsite. And possibly food. There is a trap, but I don't care. We're going. I want that campsite, dude. I want that campsite. What do we got? We've got... Ooh, a two energy trap. Oh, no. That's not good. And then we got the campsite. We're going to use that to rest. So we're going to go back up to full health and gain an energy. And we're going to search for food. We need a five or six. We got a six. Let's go. Can you guys see that in the camera? It might be the only bad thing is if it goes over here or like over here on this edge. Yeah, you can just barely see it. <laughs> Okay, uh, we did get the six, though, so we find a food. You know what? I'm going to eat that food immediately to gain an energy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to eat that food to gain an energy. Okay. Um, cool. We got the stash. We're skipping it. You always skip the stash. We didn't get lucky this time, though. We got to fight an enemy. It's Dark Rats. That's good. We can get more food. Hooray. Let's see. We've got Dark Rats. We're on level two, so these Dark Rats are a little more plump. They've got four health. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. We're going to go ahead and spend... You know what? I'm not going to spend anything. I'm going to use my amulet, dude. Instead of making an attack during combat, you may instead deal two damage without spending any energy and gain a bonus one favor and one health. I'm going to do that. I'm going to deal two damage to him with the amulet. Uh, we would gain a health, but I'm at full. And then I gain a favor. Dude, that's cool. That's cool. Okay, we can conserve energy with the amulet. The dark rat is going to attack. Ooh, crap. He does three damage. I'm going to finish him off with the amulet. We're going to do two damage to take him down. So we're going to gain uh, we're going to gain a bonus favor and one health. 
So we're going to gain that favor. And then we kill the Dark Rat and he gives us a favor. Dude, we're going to get favor like crazy with this thing. This is insane. Holy crap. Okay, cool. Um, we need to find an altar. That'll be really, really good for us. And then we've also got a random event, which is the altar. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I swear I didn't see that before. Before then, that's so cool. Okay. Um, you may gain a blessing from the altar based on your current level on the favor tracker. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go get a blessing from the altar. We've got nine favor. And if you have eight to nine, you gain four health and three energy. Don't mind if I do. We're back up to full three energy. So we go from five up to eight. Dude, that's good. That's real good. I like that. All right. We got the old well up ahead. Um, skip it. I'm gonna skip it. I feel like I'm skipping everything. The lost tomb. A watcher. No. Is it gonna drain our energy again? Yeah, you lose one energy uh, before combat begins when you fight a watcher. Okay, well, there goes one of our energy. We just got the altar. It is what it is. Um, he's gonna have six health down here on level two. Okay, we get to attack first. So I'm gonna spend. He does have one armor. Hmm. I'm gonna spend. Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna spend two. One, two. Maybe I can finish him with the amulet if we get lucky enough. Or maybe I can just one shot him. Uh, so we're doing four damage. Uh, minus one. So we're doing plus three to our roll. And we did three. Plus three is six. And he's dead. Let's go. We got lucky. Amazing. We get two favor. We're up to 11. All right. And uh, there's also a trap, a two health trap. Ouch. We go down to eight. And there's a chest. We crack it open. There's nothing but cobwebs up in there and dust. It's completely empty. We got an endless pit. I'm going to skip the pit and we're going to head into the kitchen where there's a random enemy. Okay. Hopefully there's some rats. That would make sense, right? You know, dark rats scurrying around in the kitchen trying to trying to scavenge for some food or a scalipede. That works too. He's got five health like so. Um, he never misses. He gets to reroll doubles. We get to attack first. He does have one toughness. I'm just going to spend one. And we're doing two damage, minus one is one, plus, uh, ooh, we rolled doubles and missed. Well, that sucks. <laughs> um, he's going to go ahead and retaliate. And he does one damage to us. I wonder if this thing's working out. Hopefully you guys can see these rolls well enough, because sometimes when they go, like, over here, can you still see it? Eh, kind of, sort of. Kind of, sort of. Um, okay. Uh, he's going to do one damage to us, bringing us down to seven. You know what? I'm just going to spend, no, I'm going to spend one. Yeah, I'm going to spend one. We're doing one damage, plus one damage. Plus one is two. Yikes. So he goes down to three. Okay, okay. He's going to attack. What does he get? He does one damage. I think I'm going to use the amulet. Yeah, I'm going to use the amulet to deal two damage. And then we're going to gain a health. And we're going to gain one favor. And then the Skelepi is going to attack. And he does four damage. Oh my god, dude. So we go from seven to three. Dude, this is not good. Then I'm going to use the amulet to finish him off. So we'll gain a health. We'll gain a favor. And he gives us one favor whenever we defeat him. Like so. Yikes, dude. That was brutal, though. Ooh. Then there's a campsite. We are definitely going to rest. So we're going to gain two health, go up to six, and gain an energy. Yee. And then we got to remember the crawling's ability. Once per dungeon level, while in combat, the crawling may flip a single die to the reverse side when determining damage. Okay, cool. I wonder if that's for either. I would assume that's either for him or for the enemy. Cool. Oh, uh, we got the quarters up ahead. An enemy in a chest? I think I'm going to skip that. Into the chasm. And we're fighting a wraith. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, guys. I don't know if we're going to make it to Tin Realm in this playthrough. We'll see. A wraith. All right, he's got seven health. Not, not great. Uh, you lose one favor every time the Wraith successfully hits during combat. Okay, well, we've got plenty of favor, so I think we're okay there. Um, he does one extra damage. He's got no armor. He does have seven health. I think I'm going to spend two, and we're going to do plus four damage to him. Let's see what we get here. And we did three plus four is seven, and we took him down. Let's go, dudes. We get two favor. We are maxed out on favor. Whoo, Crazy. Okay, uh, that's it for the chasm. We crossed the bridge, go to the other side, and do we want to head into the corridor? Or do we want to go to door number two? Um, I think I want to skip, I think I want to skip the corridor. And we're going into the waterfall where there's a grove. Okay, I like that. I like my groves. Cool, so we find a mushroom grove. Let's go ahead and roll, see what we get. 
We got a five again. Find two mushrooms. Amazing. So we got two. I'm going to eat two of them and gain two energy like so. Yeah, that seems good. Okay. Um, and then there's a potential food source with a little water symbol. So let's see if we find some food. We need a five or six. We got a one. No go that time. Uh, we got the crawlway. We could find food there. There's a random... Let's do it. Let's go to the crawlway. Oh, the grotto would have been good. We got an altar. Oh, baby. Oh, dude. Dude. You may gain a blessing from the altar based on your current level on the favor tracker. We're at 15. If you have 10 or more, you can gain a shard or get full health. I want the shard. I want full health too, but I, I really want the shard, right? That's how you win the game. So <laughs> let's go ahead and get a shard from the altar. That's amazing. Um, and that's the end of level two. Cool. So we're heading into level three. Put our little meeple up here. Um, I'm just using the tin helm rat. Uh, the tin, the tin, the tin helm rat. I'm using the tin realm mat, as you may notice, because it actually functions really well uh, for for tin helm and tin realm. Uh, so yeah, rather than having the tin helm mat and then having to, you know, put that away and take out the tin realm mat, just use the tin realm mat. Works perfectly. Use the daytime tracker up here, the sundial, to uh, track the the dungeon level that you're on. Of course, you just go up to five for the dungeon level. Okay, we'll get this nice and shuffled up here. And we're heading into level three. Let's see what we got. We got the Sanctum. Ooh, you always skip the Sanctum. Come on, hook me up. Oh, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. There's a Possessor on the other side, but there's no enemy here. Two Energy Trap. That's so horrible. And a random event, a Doom Skull. Oh, man. Do you always skip it? Do you always skip the Sanctum? Yeah, you do. We just got unlucky. All right, we got a Doom Skull. Cool. He's got four... We're on level three. Oh my gosh, he's got seven health. Not good. Not good. Um, he always attacks first, so here we go. Let's see what he does here, guys. We might die. Hopefully we don't. Fingers crossed. He misses. Amazing. He rolls double fours. We're running out of energy, dudes. We are running really low on energy. I'm going to go ahead and... Do I want to hit him with the amulet? Kind of. I mean, we're running so low on energy. I need to eat food. I'm going to spend two energy... We're going to do plus four to our roll. He's got no armor, so plus four. And we did one because we rolled a six and a five. So one plus the four is five damage. That's good. That puts him down to two, and we can hit him with the amulet next turn. Um, he's going to go ahead and attack. He does one damage to us. We're down to five. We'll use the amulet to deal two damage to take him down. We gain a health. Uh, we also gain a favor, but we're at full, and we gain one favor from the Doom Skull. But again, we are at full, and that is it for... The corridor. We got the grotto. We are definitely going there 100%. 100% going to the grotto. We got a freaking labyrinth, man. We're going to lose a food as we wander around in the labyrinth, but we can search for food. A five or a six will get us our food right back. We got it with the six. Let's go. I'm going to eat both of those food and gain two energy. Seems good. And we're going to use the campsite to rest and gain two health and one energy. That is what I'm talking about, dude. Uh, we got the quarters up ahead. I'm going to skip it. I'm going to skip it. Into the chasm with a wraith. How many wraiths are we going to fight? <laughs> How many wraiths are we going to fight? This is the second one. I don't like it. I don't like fighting wraiths. Uh, and again, you lose a favor every time the wraith successfully hits during combat. Um, he's got eight health here on level three. Yikes. He's got one extra damage that he does. No armor. I'm going to spend two. So we're doing plus four to our roll. And we roll doubles. No, it's so bad, dude. Okay, the Wraith is going to retaliate here as we miss. Oh, you know what we're going to do, guys? I just rolled double fives, right? Yep, I rolled double fives. What's on the other side? A two? Okay, I'm going to use the Crawling's ability. Once per dungeon level, while in combat, the Crawling may flip a single die to the reverse side when determining damage. So let's flip the five over to a two. Now we're doing three damage, plus our four damage from the two energy that we spent is seven damage. And so that puts him down to one. Okay, yeah, that's better. Cool, we actually got to use the Crawling's ability. That's cool. That's cool, I like that. Okay, now the Wraith is going to attack. And he does two damage. He rolls a four and a six. Puts us down to six. We're going to go ahead and use our Amulet to deal two damage to finish him off. The Amulet is really good, by the way. We're going to gain a health. And we're at max favor already. Uh, so we don't gain any favor from the Wraith either. We got an old well. I think I've skipped it every time, right? And uh, I'm going to skip it again. We're going we're gonna to keep going with that theme and skip it. We got a trap, a two health trap. I do not like it. We've got a chest. We crack it open. It's empty. Lots of empty chests down here in the dungeon. We got a clearing though, and we're going to go to it. Let's head into the clearing. This is a good place to set up a little camp. 
We got a labyrinth though. <laughs> no way, dude, we're out of food. Oh my God, so we go from five down to two. Yikes, oh wait, 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 wait. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. Where's the labyrinth? Uh, spend one food to escape. If you have zero food, spend two energy to escape. I've only got one. If you have zero food or energy, spend three health to escape. See, I don't have zero energy, but I can't spend two. So I'm assuming I do have to spend three health. I don't know. Spend one food to escape. If you have zero food, spend two energy to escape. But then it says, if you have zero food or energy, I don't have zero energy. So I'm just gonna say that we just have to spend our remaining energy. Maybe let me know down in the comments. Uh, it's worded a little bit funky, I'm not too sure. We'll play it that way. We'll spend our energy and uh, either way we're down to zero, right? <laughs> okay, so let's go to the camp and regain some, some health by resting and that one energy back, cool. All right, the waterfall. I think there's a sword to be found on the other side of the waterfall, so I'm gonna skip it. Into the stash? We open up the stash and there's a sword. Look at that, dude. That's that dungeon knowledge right there. That's those tips and tricks coming in handy. We got the sword. Check this out, dude. Put it over this way. You no longer miss in combat when you roll doubles. When doubles are rolled, you now deal five damage. Let's go, dude. I'm hoping we roll doubles now. That's amazing. We got the kitchen. There's an enemy and a campsite. We're we're really low on energy, though. Um, I do want the campsite, though. Let's go. We're going to go. We're going to go to the kitchen. What we got? Who, who's lurking around in the kitchen? A random enemy. I don't know if I like that so much. The random enemies always scare me. Right? That's always kind of sketchy when there's just a random enemy. Let's see what we got. A doom skull. Dang, dude. Lots of doom skulls and, and freaking... What are those other guys? The little wizard dudes that we've been fighting, man? Golly. Wraiths and stuff. All right. He's got four plus three is seven health. He attacks first. Let's see what he does. He does three damage. Oh my goodness. So we go from seven down to 40. We're getting kind of low. We're getting kind of low. I'm going to go ahead and spend, I guess we'll spend our one. We're going to do two damage. He's got no, no armor. So two to our roll. And we roll doubles, baby. Let's go. If you roll doubles with the sword, you deal five damage. Plus two is seven. We took him down. Dude, the sword already paying off. Awesome. 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 Okay. Uh, we're, at, we're at max favor, guys. We're just staying at max favor for right now. So we're not gaining any more. And uh, yeah, we've also got a place to set up camp in the kitchen. We're going to go ahead and rest. We're going to gain two health, go up to six and gain an energy and go up to one. We're just barely hanging on with energy, man. All right, the sewers, we're going to go. I like the sewers. It's a good little spot. We got a trap, a one health trap. I can handle it. We got a camp. We're going to rest, go up to seven health, two energy, and we could search for food. Please. We didn't find any, and that's the end of the level. Yikes, which means we're going to take three damage because we have no food. Dude, that's been kind of brutal. That has been pretty brutal, not having food at the end of the level. Okay, we're going to go to four on the tracker. Let's go ahead and shuffle this up. And we're going to head into level four here, guys. We're doing not great. <laughs> we're, we're doing not very not very well, honestly. Uh, Yeah, our energy is super, super low. Our health is super low. Uh, we've got no food. We do have two shards, which is something, you know what I mean? So that's good, but um, yeah, once we head out, if, if we make it, if we find the third shard and head to the overworld into Tin Realm, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna need to get pretty, pretty fortunate there. All right, what do we got here for the first one? We got the quarters. Enemy, I don't really wanna fight, I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. Oh, we're heading right back into a kitchen with a wraith, dude, wraiths like crazy in here. What is this place? Great city. He's got nine health. Oh my goodness gracious, dude. Okay, we lose a favor every time he hits us. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and spend two energy. We're doing plus four. He's got no armor, so plus four to our roll. And I rolled three plus four is seven. So that's gonna put him down to two. Okay, he is going to go ahead and retaliate. There we go. He does three damage, dudes. We're at one. Oh no, he... He does one extra damage because he's got one strength. We're dead. <laughs> oh, man. No way, dude. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. So he rolled a five and a two. We can use the Crowling's ability to flip a single die once uh, per dungeon level during combat. What happens if we flip this? Yeah, well, I'm going to flip this to a five and he misses. Woo. Okay. Okay. We're still in it. We're still in it. Then we're going to use the amulet to deal two damage. To take him down. Dude, the Crawling's ability comes in clutch and saves us. Amazing, dude. 
Amazing. And there's a campsite. We're going to rest. Gain two health, one energy. Oh my gosh, that was so close. That was so close. Okay, we got the catacombs. Oh, I'm going to skip it. I don't want to fight anything. We got a crawlway with a labyrinth. No, dude, we don't have any food. We lose our energy and we get to search for food. Let's see if we get it. Nope, we rolled a one. Womp, womp, womp. We got a waterfall. Yeah, we're going to go. We already got the sword, so I'm, I'm feeling good. We can just visit the waterfall. We got a pig man. Okay, well, we're going to pay a visit to the pig man. It's not going to be uh, of any use, unfortunately. Uh, you may allow the pig man to place a blessing on you, gaining you one favor. We're at full favor. Or you may trade a turnip with the pig man for one shard, and we don't have a turnip, unfortunately. So we'll just catch up with the pig man, ask him how his, how his life's been, and we'll get moving on further into the dungeon. Uh, we could search for food at the waterfall. Five or six. We didn't get it. We got the grotto. We're definitely going. Favorite place. Uh, we got a shrine. We, dude, we found a shrine. Dudes, we found a shrine. Boom. You gain one shard. Let's go, bro. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Okay, we got all three shards. Uh, technically, we get to go to the overworld now to uh, to Tin Realm. But first, I'm going to finish I'm gonna finish um, resolving this card. So we get to search for food. Once we visit the shrine, we don't find any. And there's a campsite. I'm going to use that to gain two health and one energy. And there we go, guys. Okay. So, technically, we have beaten Tin Helm with the Crawling Hedge Mage just, just barely. And now we're going to head into Tin Realm. So let me go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up, get Tin Realm set up, and we're going to continue the adventure. Alrighty, here we go. We've got Tin Realm all set up and ready to go. So we've got our map set up up top. And I'm using the hard mode side because, as you see, if you look on the other side, there are three nodes on this side of the cards. There are four nodes on the flip side. So... We're going hard mode, dude. We're going all out, man. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. Um, it's going to be quite a journey. It's going to be very difficult to get there, but it'll be that much more rewarding if we manage to do it. So we're starting out on the little S starting slot up here, starting node. And we're going to have to work our way all the way around through and try to get to Oaken's Helm to bring the three shards to the Baron in Oaken's Helm. Um, we've still got our sword, staff, and amulet, of course. All of our stats have stayed the same. Uh, now that we've, we're using the meeple over here, I replaced... Uh, the meeple with the little yellow cube over there to keep track of what day it is uh, on the week. Of course, if we reach day seven, by the end of day seven, we haven't made it to Oaken's Helm, you lose the game. We've got our little uh, exploration deck right here. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle it up. And we're going to get into this, guys. So we made it out of the dungy, damp, dark dungeon. And we're going to head up into the overworld and uh, try to make our way to Oaken's Helm here with these three shards and our little backpack is the Crawling Hedge Mage. It's quite the trek through the dungeon. We got beat up. We fought wraiths left and right. We fought doom skulls left and right. We made it out alive by the skin of our teeth. All right. Did those just flip over? I keep thinking I'm flipping cards on accident when I'm shuffling these little tiny mini cards. Okay, here we go. What we got up ahead? We got the lakeside. Um, there's a trap and a, an event. Can't really deal with traps right now, but that might be better than fighting an enemy. So we're going to go. We're going to go to it. See what we got. Um, it's a two health trap. Okay. I guess it's better than losing our one energy. Dude, there's a labyrinth. <laughs> there's a labyrinth immediately. And dude, the labyrinths in Tin Realm are way more brutal than they are in Tin Helm. So this this might not be good. You find yourself lost in a dark cavernous maze. Great. Spend two food to escape. We don't have that. If you do not have enough food, you waste a day looking for an exit. Advance the sundial tracker one day forward. That is so nasty. So now all enemies are going to have plus two health already right out of the gate. We're just skipping right past day one. It took us an entire day. Our first day. We get out of the dungeon. Took us an entire day to find our way through this labyrinth. We must have been like... Must have been just like a bunch of winding paths through the mountains or something, right? Man, crazy. Okay, so this is going to go over here, and then we're going to put this up on our tableau. So we've got a mountain on the right and water on the left. The pyramid. No, thank you. I'm going to skip that. I'd rather not go there. We're going to go to the old ferry instead, where there's an enemy, a dire wolf. Fairly certain the dire wolf, you can just skip combat with it by giving it a food, but we don't have any food. So, yep. Oh man, wolves always attack first in combat. You may avoid combat with the wolf, but with a dire wolf by spending one food. But again, we don't have it. So he's got six health since it's day two. He always attacks first. 
He gets plus two to his roll? Dude, this might be it right here, guys. This might be it. We get out of the dungeon, go through a labyrinth, and get attacked by a wolf. This is how the this is how the crawling hedge mage goes down. He misses. Whoo, he misses, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna spend our one energy here, one energy that we have left, dude. We're doing plus two damage. He's got no armor. Oops, the dice just went clean off the table. Hold on. Gotta go on a rescue mission. There we go. Okay, I got it. Even with this thing, flying off the table. All right, here we go. Plus two to our roll. And we rolled four minus three is one, plus two is three. He's down to three. He's not within amulet range. That sucks. It sucks, dude. Okay, he's gonna retaliate here. Plus two to his freaking roll. Come on, dude. No way, guys. I'm gonna use the crawling's ability once per dungeon level. And I guess this can translate into once per day, right? So once per day, while in combat, the crawling may flip a single dice to the reverse side when determining damage. So what's on the other side of the six? A one? What's on the other side of the two? A five. So it's the same difference. We're going to take one damage plus the two is three damage and go from six to three instead of from six to nothing and dying. Um, we don't have any energy. So I'm going to go ahead and use the amulet to hit him for two damage. And we're going to gain one health. And uh, the crawling hedge mage is going to cross his fingers and hope for the best. Here we go. Plus two to the dire wolf's roll. Please roll doubles and miss. Or roll six minus three is three plus two is five. And rip. Dang, dude. Dang it, man. We had just made it out of the dungeon. We we're all set up and ready to go for Tin Realm. And just like that, we're dead. It's so tough going from Tin Helm into Tin Realm because it's like, it's like you're starting with such a big handicap. But the cool thing is that you can find, you know, items and stuff. We just got a little bit unlucky and all we found all dungeon was the sword, even though it's like the best weapon in the game. So we did get a little bit lucky there. But there it is, guys. That is the playthrough of Tin Helm and Tin Realm. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was super, super fun. The Crawling Hedge Mage, pretty tough. Uh, his health is kind of on the lower side. Starting with no food is pretty brutal. Uh, but he does have a lot of energy. But yeah, man, it just seemed like we blew straight through it. The amulet's a great weapon. Um, I've mentioned it in another video. The staff is not good. <laughs> the staff is so situational. You need a potion or uh, or an elixir. And yeah, it's it's rare that you ever get that. So it's just, it's not very useful. It's kind of like you're just starting out with the amulet. Uh, but to be fair, the amulet is so good that it, it kind of makes up for it. But there it is, guys. Uh, be sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and hit the bell so you can stay notified every time I upload a brand new video. There's going to be more Tin Helm and Tin Realm on the way and more solo player tabletop games coming very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video.